fish. There we go, that's a little bit heavier fish, guys. Got lots and lots of bait. How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Cameraman Ron channel. Appreciate you guys joining us for another fish adventure here in beautiful Pensacola, Florida. Got some live shrimp on board today and just gonna kind of go out, spend an afternoon on the water, see if there's anything we can get into. Maybe some mangrove snapper, redfish, trout. All those fall species are really, really starting to heat up. So we're gonna take some live shrimp out, put them in the water, put some fish on the deck, and maybe, just maybe, find something we can take back and cook up for supper. If you're an angler, it's super cool when you get lucky sometimes and get right in the middle of all that stuff. Wow, dude, <laughs> did you guys see that one? Oh my goodness, man, was that? Got him right there. Wow, man, that is what summer walleye fishing is about, doesn't get. Welcome back to the channel. For those of y'all that have just found my channel because of the Autopilot 136, welcome. It is my hope that by the end of the video, you just might become a subscriber. So if you enjoy the content, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and to subscribe. What are we doing today? Going out into the marsh on the maiden voyage. I am looking forward to this because the last time I was out here, there was a lot of bait and As anglers, we judge the season not by the date on the calendar, but by the availability of our favorite species of fish. In Massachusetts, the harbinger of the saltwater fishman's springtime is the humble haddock. As this great eating brown fish returns to the shallow waters of Stellwagen Bank in Cape Cod Bay every year beginning in early April. PB and possibly even me to catch uh, my biggest jack of all ever. So let's uh, untie the boat from my neighbor's my neighbor's dock, uh, Don here. Uh, can shout out to Don if you're watching. Uh, thank you so much for allowing me to put some of my baits here in the bait pen, and uh, it makes life a lot easier. Uh, so we don't have to waste any time going to catch bait. We just load the boat and go fishing. So let's get after it. We'll see you at our first spot. channel is supported by my books, including my new book, Fishing the Edge, Techniques yeah, and Tales from Surf, Boat, boat and Kayak, a bestseller on Amazon. Hey, these books well, make great holiday gifts. You can learn more at johnskinnerfishing.com oh, and on Amazon. Yeah, good morning. Oh, All right. Uh, yeah, beautiful morning. 
top of the tide, so now it's uh, a bunch of hours back, but you know, it's not like up north where the tide runs out for six hours. It's running out for eight hours today. I did when I first, and I started watching them. Alright, I think I'm going to be And I started catching them. There was, it seemed like there was more down there. I got a fish flying around here. Yeah, nothing back there. That, that must have been where they stocked them, right? Yeah, that's where I had all the marks. Just regular. Yeah, but I could see there was a ton of them all stacked up on top of each other. Almost all right off the ramp. Yep. But we're going to be talking about some old methods and some of my favorite techniques for catching salmon. Which almost go up by about 50%. Oh, there he was too. Dang it. Oh, there he is. Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Jean here. I'm back in the Tennessee River. And uh, this morning, I'm going to fish for crappie. And I'm going to do it in one of the best ways I know to catch crappie. And that's going to be with live bait, live minnows, toughies in specific. I've got two types of toughies. I've got a regular toughy and an orange toughy minnow. What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe, welcome um, to Tennessee. We are in Tennessee, right? Yes, we are in Tennessee. We are in Tennessee? Really? Y'all, this is Mr. Austin. If you follow along not too long ago, I just, I gotta take a second and look at that beautiful yeah, sunrise. If you follow along a couple videos back, we were in Tennessee deer hunting, really and you saw the monkeys, that's Austin's family. If you're wondering why I'm here, why I'm on a bass boat on this freezing, cold morning, we're going bass fishing, but not your typical bass fishing. We've got some live bait that Caleb, who's up parking his truck right now, spent last night catching. He's kept it alive. We've got it in a boat and we're going after straight up. This is a humble squid, one of the largest squid species in the world, and I'm going to use it as bait to try and catch a bigger predator. We're fishing in 2,000 feet of water in Aqaba, Jordan, with my good friend, Dr. Marwan. This is our third day, the quest for the giant squid. We're gonna make our own anchor today. We got the streets of Aqaba with us. Okay, you go back. Okay. You go back, please. Here you we go. go. Okay, one, yeah. two, three. Seven hundred. Seven fifty. Seven fifty. You caught. Looks caught. I'm gonna tie it off, more one to the buoys. Give some line. Our goal today is to catch the giant squid. So right now I'm gonna try to get a smaller squid to use for bait. So this is the little squid jig. This is the mega. Squid. Nice. I am gonna believe it because I saw one at in Portsmouth. It was a six pounder. Trolling. What were you using for a... Oh, really? 
that's like, I usually use, and I, I had a lot of luck with them. I used those like, like perch, uh, metallic perch. They were, I mean, in the springtime, I, if I'm going for my limit, 45 minutes, I'm done. But uh, I tried, like I said, I tried in Portsmouth. Nothing. I mean, I got some, but I was watching a guy was fishing with the Phoebe's. He was nailing them. Yeah, he was nailing them. 